Hello everyone, today's topic is Fayless Theorem Proportional Segments. In this video, we'll learn how to use the line parallelism to find the missing line segments line in a cross line cut with parallel lines. Okay, first of all, uh, we start from the definition. Definition transversal. What is a transversal? Transversal is a line that in uh, intersect two or more lines in the same plane at distinct points. The lines that the transversal intersect do not have to be parallel, but in each uh, of the problems we look at, they are. Two examples of transversal uh, are AC and DF in the following figure because they both intersect each of the three parallel lines at distinct points. We can see that the transversal AC intersects the lines at points A, B, C, while uh, the transversal D, E, F. Okay. Notice that the intersections of the three parallel, parallel lines and the two transversal create for different line segments. A segment with endpoints at A and B uh, and another segment with exponent B and C uh, both lie on the transversal AC uh, like with a, a segment with exponents D, E uh, and another segment with exponents E, F. Bus lie on the transversal DF. When a transversal is equipped by parallel lines, the corresponding angles are congruent. Uh, thus, we know that congruent letters uh, A, B, E, uh, D, E, and uh, B, C, E, F in the figure are, are similar. Each of our four segments is a side of one of the, these congruent letters with a uh, segments a b uh, corresponding to uh, segments b c and the corresponding d e corresponding to uh, segment e f the fact that corresponding sides of similar figures are proportional lights as to a theorem of parallel lines and transversals uh, second theorem the basic proportional theorem and the first theorem uh, if three or more parallel lines intersect two uh, transversals then they could of the transversals proportionality based on this theorem we know that in our figure the rational of the lengths uh, of segments a b to that of b c uh, is equal uh, to the rational of the length of d e to that uh, of e f we can write this as the proportionality a b over b c equal to d e over e f okay notice that in this proportionality the rational uh, ratio on each side of the equation contains the length of segments on the same transversal it is worth noting what we could also write a proportional in which the ratio on each side of the equation contains the lengths of corresponding segments on the two different transversal that is AB over DE equals to BC over EF. Okay, solving each of these proportional for an unknown segment's length will give the same result because cross multiplying will lead to either the equation AF multiply AB equal to BC multiply DE or an equivalent equation regardless uh, of which of the two proportional as used. Suppose now that our figure had operates as follows indicating that D uh, segments uh, D, E and E, F are uh, congruent. Uh, this uh, would tell us that D, E equals to E, F, which would allow us to substitute uh, D, E into the proportional A, B over B, C equals to d e over e f for e f uh, giving us a b over b c equals to d e 
over TV E. Uh, we will then be able, uh, able to simplify the right side of the equation to 1. And uh, so we will know that uh, AB equals to BC. This leads us to another theorem of parallel lines and uh, cut off congruent segments on one uh, transversal, then they cut off congruent segments on every transversal. Let's now use uh, the theorems in the problems that follow to find missing segments. Lens one transversal, uh, then two transversals are intersected by uh, three or more. Lines. Okay, let's see the value at this point. If we take this line as the path of life, we reach our peak by preserving thoughts the various obstacles that may arise in order to achieve a curtain goal at its peak. Okay, for example, using the information in the figure determine the length of AF. Okay, solution. In the figure, we can see that we have uh, three parallel lines, uh, AD, parallel BE, parallel CF. We can also see that uh, these parallel lines are cut by the two transversals, DF and uh, AC. Remember that the transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines in the same place at distinct points. The basic proportionality theorem uh, tells us that if three or more parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they cut off the transversals proportionally. For this reason, we know that the ratio of the length of DE to that of E F must be equivalent to the ratio of lengths A B to uh, that of B C. Thus, uh, we can write the proportionality D E over E F equal to A B over B C. The figure shows us that uh, D E equals to forty eight cm. And AB equals to 47 cm, and BC equals to 141 cm. So we can substitute these values into the proportion uh, to get uh, 48 over EF equals to 47 over uh, 141 uh, cross multiplying then gives us the equation 145 multiply 48 equals to ef multiply uh, 47 uh, which we can simplify to 6768 equals to 47 ef Finally, div uh, dividing both sides of the equation by 47, we get 144 uh, equals to EF. Thus, we know that the length uh, of EF in the is 145 cm. Okay, next example. Uh, in the figure lines L1, L2, L3 and L4 uh, are parallel, given that x, z uh, equals to 20, uh, z, uh, n equals to 8, a, b equals to 10, and uh, b, c equals to 5. Okay, uh, and what is the length of c, d? Okay, uh, solution. In this problem, we are told that l1 parallel l2 parallel l3 parallel l4, uh, then the legs of segment xz, uh, then n, ab and bc are also given to us. So we can level the figure as shown. We can see that each of the lengths uh, l1, l2, l3, l4, um, is cut by two transversal M and uh, M1 results that uh, 
uh, the basic proportionality theorem. Said that if three or more parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they could of the transversals proportionally. This tells us that B rate, uh, ratio of the length of uh, segment uh, X Z uh, to Z of Z uh, N must be equal to the ratio of the, the length A C A C to the B C D. It is always us to write B proportionally X Z uh, over Z N equals to A C over C D. Notice, however, that we uh, are not given the length of uh, eight A C or, or C D. We uh, are given that length of A B uh, and B C. Uh, that we, so we can use the fact that the length of a line segment is equal to the sum of the length of the shorter uh, discount segments that uh, from uh, it to uh, rewrite uh, the proportional in a way that will allow, uh, allow us to solve the problem since uh, AC equals to AB plus BC. We get x z uh, over z n equals to a b plus b c uh, over c d. After uh, substitution, the given values of x z z n a b and b c into this proportional, we then we then arrive at uh, twenty over eight equals to ten plus five. Uh, over C D, which we can re uh, rewrite as 20 over 8 equals to uh, 15 over C D. Uh, next cross multiplying gives us the uh, equation. The uh, equation C D multiply 20 equals to 8 multiply 15, which we uh, can simplify to 20 C D equals to uh, 120. Uh, finally, to solve for CD, we can divide both sides of the equation by 20 to get CD equals to 10. Okay, uh, we can therefore conclude that the length of CD equals to 10. Okay, next example. Given that XL equals to 9 cm, find the length of XZ. Uh, okay, solution. We can see that uh, in this problem we have four parallel lines AX parallel BY parallel CZ parallel DL. We can also see that these parallel lines cut off uh, segments A, B, uh, B, C, and C, D on the transversal AD uh, with transversal AD. Okay, remember that uh, Zales special theorem tells us that if three or more uh, parallel lines cut off congruent segments on one transverse, then they cut off congruent segments on every transverse. So, uh, since we uh, know that AB equals to C, uh, CD equals to BC, we uh, also know that XY equals to e, uh, YZ equals to ZL. To begin, we can use the fact that the length of a line segment is equal to the sum of the lengths of the shorter destroying segments that form it to write the equation XL equals to XY plus YZ plus ZL. Since uh, XY equals to YZ equals to Z, uh, ZL, we know that XY equals to YZ equals to ZL. Uh, this allows uh, us to substitute uh, XY into the equation XL equals to XY plus YZ plus ZL for both YZ and ZL mm, to get XL equals to XY plus X y plus x y uh, which we can then write as xl equals to 3xy so that we were told that the length of xl is 
nine cm. So we can now substitute uh, nine into the equation uh, xl uh, equals to three uh, xy. Okay, to get nine three xy. Uh, and divide both sides by 3, uh, we giving us xy equals to 3. Remember that xy and uh, uh, y, uh, yz have to the same length, so we also know that yz equals to 3. Next, because the length uh, of a line segment is equal to the sum of the lengths uh, of the segments of e uh, which it is comprised we can write the equation xz equals to xy uh, plus yz and after uh, substituting uh, 3 for both x y and the yz we arrived at xz equals to 3 plus 3 uh, equals to 6 and xz equals to 6. This same uh, length of xz, xz uh, in the figure is uh, 6cm. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention. See you. Goodbye.